Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at the extrude tool which will uh, bring us right into modeling. So in my previous tutorial we looked at the different modes. If I hold down right click on my object we have face, edge mode, and vertex mode. We looked at those, so if you haven't seen that video start with that please. Uh, so let's look at this extrude tool. We can change a primitive shape and model it into anything we want. So um, I'm going to hold down right click and I'm going to go to face mode. So in face mode I'm going to select the top face here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this button right up here on the shelf. It's called extrude. And when I press extrude my gizmo changes into uh, kind of a, a strange gizmo. It has all of the gizmos in one and this is what I mean. It has the arrows for moving it has the little boxes here, the cubes, for scaling and resizing. And it also has this wheel that goes around here, the circle, if I click, will turn into the rotating gizmo. Now, what I'm going to do is when you press extrude, most of the time we start with the blue arrow and we pull up a brand new face. Okay, and then that face can also be scaled while using the same gizmo here. I can move back to the move tool, go up or down. And if I press extrude again, you can see that uh, this process happens all over again. I can move up with the blue arrow and maybe scale with a little bit of green, a little bit of red here. Okay, I can press it again and pull up again. So what if you wanted to scale proportionally? The previous two, I was scaling with the green and the red and just trying to guess my way to be a square. But if you click on, usually we scale from the center. But if you notice, the light blue square that's usually there for proportional scaling is not there. Right now, it is the moving tool. So, and that's because the last thing we did was use the move tool. I need to click on any of the boxes and the one box I like to click on is this one because if you push it down too much or if you hold it down too much uh, you're not going to move whereas this one would move it and this one might move it by a mistake. So I click on this dark blue box and guess what appears? The proportional scaling one. I can take this face and hold sh this face uh, by holding shift and select multiple faces at the same time and you can see I can move out uh, a brand new face. And I can continue this process. Now what is the quick command for the extrude tool? Well there is none. However, there is a quick command for the previous thing that you did which was extrude. And that is the G key on your keyboard. So I can press G and you can see here I can scale and G and you can see it continues to extrude. Now let me just show you some common pitfalls to stay away from. I'm going to make a new cube here holding down right click. I'm going to go to face mode, select this face and I'm going to press extrude. Notice that when we press extrude you can see we have these dots and that should be in the middle of the face. So when I pull this up you can see how the dot will move to the middle of the face and this is where we select faces, right? So sometimes this happens where we can press extrude and then never extrude it. So you're left with dots along the edge here and then what happens is uh, the next time you go to this face and not, maybe not notice these you'll press extrude again and when you pull this new face up, we're leaving some faces behind. Now you might not think that that is um, a big deal, but it actually can be, especially if you're looking to smooth this later on. Let me show you an example here of a cube, and I'll just duplicate this, Command D. So this cube is normal. I'll leave it alone. And this cube, what I'll do is I'll move to face mode and I'll press extrude, but I will not extrude. And let me show you what happens when I try to smooth this cube here. If I press 3 on my keyboard, it will preview smooth, and it smooths down to a sphere. This one, if I press 3 and try to smooth it, notice what you get. So you might not notice this as a problem in hard-edged mode, but if you plan on smoothing something, it will be a problem. And 
to tell you the truth, it really will be a problem in hard edge mode because you will not be able to bevel this later on. Uh, beveling will just not work. Uh, so, and we'll talk about beveling later. So just be aware of that. All right, try not to let that happen. Now, what happens usually when someone does that is they'll press extrude, they'll move it up, and if, let's say they didn't like that extrusion, they will undo, so they'll edit undo or control command Z, but remember, they didn't undo the extrusion. They only undid the move up. So you need to undo a second time to actually get rid of the full extrusion. So um, just be aware, making sure that there's no dots. And if there are, try to fix that uh, pretty quickly. All right. So that is the extrude tool. We're going to be using it a lot this year to model things, but usually uh, you can use any shape to use this tool. And sometimes what I'll do is I can boil down the subdivisions to something a little bit smaller, right? A little bit more manageable. So now there's only nine faces here. I could choose to select some faces like this and press extrude. Blue arrow first, right? And we can scale and you can see how that works. So uh, good luck with this extrude tool and give it a try.